Hey guys, today we are going to be talking about common mistakes that I've seen other players make. Um, some that I've been guilty of making myself, to be honest. So I do hope this video is helpful to some of you and will prevent you guys from going down the same path that I did. Uh, if any of you guys do have any mistakes that you want to share yourself, please leave a comment down below. Um, other than that, let's hop right in. Okay, so common mistake number one would be if you look in the top right corner, your resin system, you have 120 resin, which is your stamina system in the game. And this is uh, pretty obvious to overlook because when you're playing the game, there's a lot to take in the atmosphere, the, the scenery, the music, everything is just fantastic. But early on at adventure rank eight, I believe, which is only going to take you about like 40 minutes or so, you unlock this Leyline Outcrop, Blossom of Revelations, the first thing that you unlock that you're able to actually spend your resin on. You don't want to be capped on resin. You want to make sure you spend it and at least have it regenerating. So just keep that in mind. Okay, mistake number two would be expeditions. So if you go talk to Catherine in any region that region that you're in, Mondstadt, Liwa, and go to Dispatch Character on Expedition, you'll notice all of this. You have Mondstadt, you have Liwa, both regions. You're able to send out your characters on an expedition for whatever amount of time that you want to do it. Four hours um, can get you an iron chunk and white iron chunks. 20 hours can get you even crystal chunks. So at the end of the day, when you're about to go to bed and you know you're going to be offline for like, say, hey, you're going to go to sleep for like eight hours. You might not even hop on the game immediately when you wake up for like four hours. Boom, send some characters out on expedition. Free resources. Or if you have like too many characters and you know that you're not going to be playing, you're not going to play as Kaya. You absolutely hate them. You never use them for anything. Send them to the expedition. Make them do expeditions 24-7 on a 20-hour cycle, you know? It's free resources. Don't miss out on it. Don't forget. When you're about to go to bed, don't forget. You go to bed, send out your character on expedition, you wake up, claim your rewards, you know? All right, mistake number three would be the Statue of the Seven. So if you go to any of these Statues of the Seven, this is the icon that it shows on the map. There are four in Mondstadt, I believe five in Liowa. Go to any of the Statues of the Seven, interact with it. And you will notice an option saying statues blessing you interact you click on this and you can see restorative power now automatically it'll be set to 50 percent so whenever you're around a statue of the seven you'll automatically recover up to 50 percent of your health for all party members whether it's players in your party or uh players who are just on standby right Normally, I set this up to 100%, so whenever I'm near it, it'll restore my HP, because this restorative power regenerates quite fast. You'd be surprised. So make sure that you're using your Statue of the Seven to heal your characters, revive your characters, try and save some food, because that's a resource that could be useful later on, like during a boss fight or something like that. You can't go to the Statue of the Seven when you're in a boss fight, right? So remember, you can always rely on your Statue of the Seven to heal yourself. Speaking of Statue of the Seven, mistake number four would be marking animuculize on your map. So there are things called animuculize or geoculize. They're one-time collectible items around Leo and Mondstadt. Every region has different names. But these oculize that you're collecting are what you use to power up your uh, level up your Statue of the Seven. And by leveling up your Statue of the Seven, you're able to get more stamina. So right now we have 232 stamina as well as Adventure XP and Primo Gems. So if we head over and talk to one of our statues of the seven and go to Worship Statue, you'll notice that I can get more Stamina, Adventure XP, Primo Gems, and Sigils, which is used on the Souvenir Shop for leveling up my statue. Max level for your statue of the seven is 10 for both regions, and guess what? I'm at 14 out of 15, and I own none. I have no idea where my last Animuculus is, because I did not bother marking it on the map. So now I might find myself spending an hour, two hours, maybe like five hours, maybe days, weeks, trying to find this one last animuculus around the entire map, you know, or all the region for Mondstadt, you know? So it's like trying to find a needle in a haystack. It's 
it's painful. You're going to, you're going to regret it. You're going to hate your past self. So whenever you see one of these animunculi, which you will notice on your map, it's, it'll pop up on your mini map with a star icon followed by an audio cue, letting you know that one is nearby. Even if you don't plan on collecting it right now, just quickly mark, you know, if you see, if you see something blinking, leave a little note, uh, Anomunculus. Easy as that. Come back to it whenever you want and then just unmark it if you want, you know, after you collect it. Simple as that. Don't be like me. Don't be like me. Okay, common mistake number five would be climbing. So normally when you're trying to climb a tall mountain, you want to be fast, right? You just want to jump. You might be impatient. If you jump, you consume a lot more stamina rather than just taking it nice and slow, just slowly climbing, which will help you get to the top safer. You have a better chance of doing so. And then you end up running out of stamina and falling down and dying, right? And then you have to start all over. Also, we'll lead into common mistake number six with this, because if you do end up running out of stamina by climbing and you're falling to the ground, you'll die, right? That's normally how it works. But now there is a new addition to the game called the plunge attack. So if you plunge attack down to the ground, you will take reduced damage uh, at a percentage based and not actually die. You'll live. However, if you fall down to the ground, plunge attack right before you hit the ground, you'll take no damage. You don't plunge attack early because if you plunge attack early, you're going to take damage. You just fall down. I just want to show you. As you can see, us plunge attacking down, we lost a little bit of health, right? But if I go back up top to show you as an example, go over the same area like so, we fall down, plunge attack right before we hit the ground, we take zero damage. Okay, and last common mistake that I have for you guys is cooking and crafting. So whenever you're cooking any meal, whatever it might be, on the right side, you have the option to change out your character for a character bonus. Every character is different when it comes to cooking and crafting. Some of them have special features. So Kaya, for example, may obtain special dishes when cooking chicken mushroom skewer. Um, an egg, we don't have anyone. Let's see here. Let's go to Fisherman's Toast, the defensive item. Noel, when a perfect cooking is achieved on a defensive boosting product or uh, defense boosting dish, apologies, Noel has a 12% chance to obtain double the product. Normally cooking, you get one, right? You get one Fisherman's Toast. Let's see if we can actually make Noel give us uh, Two, right? Two, right there. We got two. And the same is applied for crafting as well. So if we head on over, crafting bench, try and craft like this potion, for example. You'll see that Lisa, when Lisa crafts a potion, she has a 20% chance to refund a portion of the crafting materials used, which in this case, frogs and electro crystals. And Lisa, I think Lisa is your potion lady. Um... Let's see if there's anything else. Sing Xiao. When Sing Xiao crafts a character talent material, he has a 25% chance to refund a portion of the crafting materials used. Okay, not bad. All right. Um, I believe that's it. At least I can't think of any common, any more common mistakes off the top of my head. If you may, if you think I may have missed any, or if you have any more common mistakes of your own that you would like to share, please leave a comment down below. If you guys have any questions or comments uh, at all, period. Just uh, leave it down below as well. I'll be more than happy to respond. Other than that, I hope you guys uh, enjoyed the video and I hope to see you guys next time.